Hey everybody, so we've done our overview of everyday carry when it comes to medical supplies. Now we're gonna do an in-depth look at each item. First one, chest seals. So let's talk about when we use chest seals. We're gonna use them when we have an open wound in our torso area, specifically from collarbone below to the belly button, including the abdomen area. And what it is specifically, say, a bullet or something like that is entered and you have an open wound. Now with a bullet, uh, most likely, especially if it's a full metal jacket, you're gonna have two wounds, your front one and your back one. So it's important to have two chest seals. A lot of manufacturers actually do make them in uh, for two, whether that's a twin pack, like the ones we use here, hyphen vent from North American Rescue, or something like Halo chest seals used before, where they make two, but they're in the same package. So. You want to have two, not necessarily because you're going to ever use them, but always uh, better safe, right? Now, when you have them, you're going to be putting them on an open wound specifically so that for the torso area, you're not getting air into the lungs. A lot of times with that, it can cause a lot more damage, collapsing the lungs, things like that, that can cause uh, a lot more damage than what we want. So we're wanting to cover that uh, so that it can be sealed and we're not having any problems with that. Well, we use specific hyphen vents so that if uh, just normal breathing process, once it's sealed, air can come out through those vents or things like that, or even blood and whatnot, but nothing is really getting in. And if you know blood or some of that seals up the vents for some reason, well, it's still just a regular chest seal. But the vents is a nice added bonus to just a regular chest seal instead of having to seal it up some way, some way and set it up so that you still have maybe an opening on one of the four sides so that air is getting out or things like that, right? So we have here our hyphen vents from North American Rescue, okay? And what we're gonna do with this twin pack is we're gonna open one up, have one open here. You can see it's just has little cuts right there so you can just rip it open. And once you rip it open, you're gonna pull out the chest seal. Now, what's really cool is actually on the directions of the hyphen vents uh, packaging is there so that you can actually do it. And on the back, it actually has pictures of showing it. So you have words on the front or pictures on the back of how you can do it. So if, you know, just space of mind or just someone that doesn't necessarily know how to use them or, you know, you're maybe the one that is injured or some of that and maybe you can't for some reason apply the chest seals, you can still get it to someone else, hand it to them, and they can still read directions or look at the pictures and know how they need to use the chest seals, right? So set them aside or some of that uh, if you need to use them. When you pull the chest seals actually out of the packaging for hyphen vents, they're folded, you open them up, and you actually have a nice piece of little gauze here. One of the first steps it shows on the packaging and what you want to do is you're wanting to wipe away any dirt, any fluid, blood, things like that, away from the open wound, make it clear, and then just you know set that gauze aside, so that then you can start using the chest seal. A big thing with that is you're wanting to really wipe away, clean the area, so that when you're putting the chest seal on, that adhesive can actually stick to your body. It's not just put on the dirt or the fluid and then slight movement or whatever shifting and it just comes off anyways. It's not you know serving its purpose. So we would grab the red tab here and actually peel the liner off of the chest seal. And you'd have the liner gone and the chest seal there ready with the adhesive so that then you could put it on. So say that, say my button right here is the wound. I'm centering it right there on the wound place me down and I'd seal it and everything uh, and it'd be there in the vents would then help with any uh, escape of air, a, a person breathing out, but nothing's actually getting in or things like that, okay? So that would be how I would have the chest seal set up. Now, if you don't have a chest seal or something like that for some reason, obviously you can use something else. There's a lot of different improvising tools that can be used, uh, just as long as they're impermeable items, like a trash bag, rubber gloves, uh, a good old chip bag, just the uh, lining there, you just line it up, uh, say pressing on your hand with your hand, and you're sealing it, things like that. Now obviously if you're not wanting to just hold it there full time, something nice like tape or some of that is cool, but 
obviously an actual chest seal has the great adhesive on it. Um, and just in general, when it comes especially to medical things, you want to have the actual tool and the correct tool to use. A lot of things can be improvised for chest seals, for tourniquets and things of like that, but just like whether it's you know a trash bag for a chest seal, a belt for a tourniquet, or something like that, they're not going to work 100% for sure like the chest seal, the tourniquet, or anything else would. And that's why it's important to have the right tool for the injury. So for us, like today, showing you guys chest seal. Make sure you have one. We always have one on us every day. So make sure you guys get one. Take it easy.